as we work towards net zero and investigate the impacts and effects of climate change, there are a number of analytical developments that are required. And this is specifically what we're working on within statistics and data analytics within our school. Technology has transformed what we have in terms of data. Data are streaming everywhere all the time. We have data that are constantly at our fingertips but we can't necessarily use that data. We need to be clear on how the data have been produced, how the data have been collected, the biases that might be associated with that data and how we can actually use it to inform decisions. It can be dangerous for us if we don't account for all of these things and come up with misleading conclusions. We work across a whole range of application areas, air pollution and forecasting, biodiversity, design of monitoring networks, ecological connectedness and earth observation. We work with industry, we work with environmental regulators and agencies right across the public sector and government. In particular, we've just been successful in getting a prize from the Royal Statistical Society called the Mardia Prize. And this is to specifically develop our interdisciplinary relationships. And so through this, we are developing a network of collaborators and partners that are specifically interested in the challenges that arise from data and analytics associated to a full general theme of digital earth. One of the main things that we're working in just now is that of data fusion very closely with our partners. An example of one project is that we're looking at the water quality within the Ramganga in India. Our partners are collecting different data streams within the water for in situ monitoring from automatic sensors from drones and from satellites. And we're looking to see how we can fuse all this information together to give us the best quality picture about pollution effects within the Ramganga. Another example from our group is that of air pollution monitoring and forecasting. Our researchers work with measurements from sensors across the city and also from models giving estimates of air pollution. And this is all helping to inform policy within local government. The tools and software and the associated estimates, predictions and forecasts directly feed into what's being used in industry and across environmental regulation and policy in order to inform future decisions. And the, the long-term impact of our work is that it has the potential to provide the best quality data that we can and understanding all the uncertainties that are associated with it and this is essential in order to give us the best informed decisions as we move towards net zero.